Your device is connected to the internet using a VPN or proxy service. Please disable it and try again. If your VPN is having issues working with Amazon Prime Video and that message sounds familiar, you have come to the right place. Welcome. In this video, I will run through nine quick and simple potential solutions for you to try at home to get yourself streaming Amazon Prime Video uninterrupted once more. It's a tricky subject to tackle and Amazon certainly doesn't make things easy for VPN streamers like you and me, but our extensive experience troubleshooting this sort of thing leaves me confident that at least one of these solutions will work for you. So stick around as we walk through a whole Nine methods for fixing your VPN not working with Amazon Prime. For top 10 VPN, I'm Callum, let's get started. We're gonna go through these options in the order of likelihood to succeed, starting with the most likely solution to your issue and ending with the most niche. Feel free to follow along at home alongside this video, mimicking our steps and pausing as and when you need to. Solution one, change your Amazon account country. This is the most common reason why VPN stopped working with Prime Video. It's because you haven't changed the country that's linked with your account. It doesn't matter what you do or what VPN you have, if you haven't taken this step, then you won't be able to stream. Changing the region means creating a new Amazon account in the required country. For example, if you want to watch Amazon Prime Video's US library, then you need to create an account based in the US. The good news is that you can do this using your same email address and billing details as your current account. Once you've done that, just connect to a VPN server in that country and begin streaming all that lovely new content. Solution two, switch to a different VPN server. If you are unaware, streaming services really, really don't like it when people use VPNs to get around location restrictions. It's not just Amazon Prime Video, but Netflix, Max, BBC iPlayer, all of them. They try their absolute hardest to stop it, and that usually involves monitoring IP addresses and ranges that they know are associated with VPNs. Once streaming services work out that an IP address belongs to a VPN server rather than a real household, they block it. Blocking them all is a tall order though, nigh on impossible. Try changing servers within the location you need until you get one that works. Or if you can't change the server manually, simply disconnect and reconnect to get a new IP address each time. We've also had some luck in the past by messaging our VPN's customer support team and just asking them which servers are working with Amazon Prime Video right now. Solution three, update your VPN client. I know, I know, I get it. You were gonna do it later. We've all been there. You don't open up your VPN until you want to use it, and then when you wanna use it, you don't wanna wait around for it to update, so you simply never update it. Well, now is the time to finally update your VPN. Aside from the myriad security reasons as to why you should do it, outdated VPN software can often suffer compatibility issues and simply not work as well, even when it comes to unblocking streaming services. And please, please keep it up to date in the future. It really is for your own good. Solution four, change VPN protocol. Your VPN's protocol is how it acts to encrypt and tunnel your web traffic. Your traffic looks and acts differently depending on which of the protocols is being used. If a streaming service is trained to detect specific telltale signs of VPN traffic, it's possible that by changing the protocol you can get around what was once a block. This isn't a super reliable method, but it can work and it's a minimum of effort, so it's worth giving a go. Solution five, clear your cookie and cache data. This is a big one that can often stop your VPN from working in a number of circumstances, not just with streaming. But when you use a website or service, it will store a number of tiny files on your device that it then uses to identify you and, in theory, serve you the content you're requesting quicker the next time you visit. What that often means for streaming services is that you'll be automatically served the content from whatever region you were in when you last used it. Changing VPN servers won't do anything as the website is checking those files and believing that you're still wherever you were before. If you're watching Prime Video in a web browser, then open your browser settings and clear all cookie and cache data. If you're watching on iPhone, close the app, go to settings, select Prime Video and clear data. If you're watching on Android, close the app, go to settings, find the Prime Video app, and then select storage and clear data. If you're watching on an Amazon Fire TV device, go to settings, applications, manage installed applications, select Prime Video, then select clear cache, followed by force stop. Connect your required VPN server before reopening or revisiting Prime Video, then go ahead and try watching as usual. Solution six, disable IPv6. Without getting into the technicalities too much, there are two types of IP address, v4 and v6. You'll have an IPv4 address assigned to your router, but you might also have an IPv6 address too. They're not as ubiquitous, but are becoming increasingly common. The issue is that because not everyone has an IPv6 address, a lot of VPNs have been slow on the uptake to make sure they, you know, actually work with IPv6. An otherwise reliable VPN could find itself leaking your IP address if it doesn't know how to properly handle IPv6. The solution is to simply disable IPv6 on your device. Don't worry, this can be reverted just as easily as it's put into place, and it shouldn't affect your device's internet connection in any negative way whatsoever. To disable IPv6 on Windows, open Control Panel, then go to Network and Internet, Network Sharing Center, 
change adapter settings. Right click on the connection you're currently using and select properties, then uncheck the box labeled Internet Protocol version 6. To disable IPv6 on macOS, open System Preferences and select Network. Then click Advanced, followed by the TCP slash IP tab. Then click on the drop down menu next to Configure IPv6 and select Off. Click OK and apply your changes. Unfortunately, there are some devices and platforms that don't give you control over the IP you use, like Fire TV. In those instances, you'll have to try disabling it from within your router settings. Now, there are tons of brands and models of routers out there, way more than I can list instructions for right now, so my best advice would be to head to the manufacturer website for your router and follow the instructions listed there. Solution 7. Upgrade to a better streaming VPN. Sorry, you probably might have guessed this one was coming. Frankly, it sucks, but sometimes you just have to throw up your hands and admit that your VPN isn't one that works with Amazon Prime Video. There's a good number of ones out there that do work, at least according to our testing, but they can't all be winners. Take a look at our list of the most reliable VPNs for unblocking Amazon Prime Video and see which one takes your fancy. This list is subject to change as our testing goes on, but at the time of filming this, ExpressVPN is the best option. I'll put links to all this stuff in the video description if you want to take a further look. Solution 8. Try using Smart DNS. So what advice could possibly follow up trying a different VPN? Well, how about not technically using a VPN at all? Sometimes a smart DNS proxy is better suited to unblocking Prime Video. They work by routing your traffic via a proxy server designed to specifically work with a certain service in a certain region, and then onto the destination website or app. The main difference to a VPN is that smart DNS doesn't encrypt your traffic. If you're okay with that in this instance, and give it consideration. If you can find one designed to work with Amazon Prime Video in the region that you want, then what's especially cool about Smart DNS is that it can be used on just about any device. There's no native software required, so all you need to do is change the device's DNS settings as instructed. We found ExpressVPN's media streamer and the Winscribe-owned Control B to be fantastic and really reliable options. Solution 9. Get a residential IP address. So, you remember how I said that streaming services are always trying to shut out VPN IP addresses? But what about if instead of just using a regular VPN server based in a data center, you instead used a real, genuine residential IP address from another region? It's actually something you can do. It's rare, but some VPNs do offer residential IP addresses. The catch, though, is that they're expensive, like upwards of $100 a year expensive. Oh, and they also might not be available in the region that you're looking for. But we can confirm that when we've been able to try out this method in our testing, it has worked more often than not. It's pretty expensive as a last resort though, I, I get it. Whew, that was uh, actually quite a lot to get through. In a weird way, I actually hope that no one is seeing this part of the video as hopefully you've already had your problem solved and you've closed YouTube and gone off to watch Amazon Prime TV just like you wanted. If you are still here though, thanks for sticking it out with me. As you're clearly a diehard, it would be hugely appreciated if you'd consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. And do let me know in the comments if you still can't get Prime Video working so that I can help troubleshoot. Be sure to check out our dedicated guide to fixing Prime Video with a VPN for even more detailed information, plus some recommendations for the very best VPNs to use for just this very purpose. Best of luck, and I'll see you next time.